what's your girl April? So this video is going to be like something really, really quick, or maybe not that quick, but something. Um, it's kind of like the same thing. You know, to be honest, you guys know I do a lot of wig or hair tutorial videos on my channel. So you know, I do try to change it up, but there's but so much you can do with a wig. But this wig company is definitely new to me. I've never heard of them before, and I've never worked with them. So. For that, I'm just gonna take the wig out of the package and style it and see how it goes like straight out the package because I know there are a lot of people that really don't have time to be washing them and doing like a lot of extra things to them. Sometimes you got somewhere to go and the wig probably just came just in time. So this one is called Perfect Lace Wig. It's professional hair and affordable price. And it does come in this red box. I decided to pick one that had a little bit of color in it, which was so pretty. Like this is something that I didn't have to do myself. I love when I don't really have to do much. It just makes my job like a whole lot easier. So I'll definitely leave the specs below for you guys for the inches, which I do think it's um, 20 inches and it's actually 180% density. I know you guys, some of you guys actually do like a lot of hair. Sometimes I feel like 180 and 150 and 200 kind of like look kind of the same, but I guess it all depends on the actual company. So this is 180% density and it is a 360 lace wig. So this one does have like the standard, it does have the combs in the front as well as one right here in the middle. So that's three combs in the front and then it also has the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape and it has like, you know, the 360 cap, which more or less kind of is very stretchy in the middle. From what I'm looking at, it kind of does look like the hairline is pre tweezed so we're just going to see how it looks without doing anything to it. You also do get one of these, which is the elastic band inside of here, and you do get like an extra comb and a wig cap in the package. So I'm going to take this brush, which is really dense, and I'm going to just apply that to the inside of the lace. Because this is loose powder, it's going to be kind of like all over the place, which sucks. And I'll also spray one of my favorite hairsprays. I know you guys see me use Aussie for like a couple years, but prior to Aussie, this is all I ever used too. So I do have two of them, and I go back and forth depending on what I need to do. Kind of like set it, okay? And then I will go back into the press powder once it's kind of like dry because I don't really want to put this on the cap with hairspray wet on it. And then one more good spray. So while that's drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the wig that I already have on, which is something that I made two years ago. So I love when anything just lasts like for super long, you know? Now, I don't really want the wig cap to be sitting on my edges because I just feel like it's going to like rub up against the little bit of them that is there. So I'm gonna just put it right there. Okay, love, so let's get to styling this unit. This hair is so full and pretty. I am so amazed at the color that I got. Normally I'll have to like tone it and just do some magic to it. But with this one, this is actually really the perfect lace wig. As you guys can see, the parting in this is great. And especially because I do have on a stocking cap that was sent to me that matches my scalp perfect. So I'm just gonna try to make some, you know, like zigzag parts in my hair. I was just trying something out different. I don't really know why, but I think thought I would just give it a go. I have done this in an actual wig before, but you know, I'm not really sure why I didn't wear it out. So the baby hairs are pretty long, and for those of you guys who don't like them so long, you can definitely go ahead and take you a small pair of scissors or, you know, like a razor comb. But for me, I'm just going to use my styling mousse and my Gorilla Snot Gel, and I'm just going to push them back into the wig because I really don't like them too long. But listen, I'm not really that great with the baby hairs, like on some realness. Like me and the baby hairs, we just don't get along sometimes. Um, um, so I just try to alleviate the problem as much as possible when I cut them It just seems like there's too many so it's just like you know what I'm just not now I'm gonna go ahead and curl the wig um, I am using my irresistible me 
eight in one wand system. You guys know I'm always using that in my videos. I absolutely love it. It is a maze balls. It is the best curling wand system in the entire world. So if you have not got one, you better make sure to get you one because listen, this hair is gorgeous. Okay. So these are the curls that I actually came out with and they are so pretty. And I did go ahead and switch the barrel out because I'm feeling the way the curls were looking at first. And I just decided to go with something totally different. But the hair is super soft. I'm just like really, really floored by how nice it looks. The color is like so gorgeous. Yes, honey. All right, you guys, so this is the final, final finish look. Like, so I decided to take the zigzag part out because I really didn't like the hair. I just, I wasn't really too crazy about it. Plus, I just had to go and revert back to my favorite size barrel curler because the curls were so tight, um, not really even tight. They were loose and they didn't stay and they kind of like seemed like the hair kind of frizzed up. And not really even frizzed up, but it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't as neat as I would have liked it to be. And sometimes it happens when you just don't wash the wig. You just style it straight out the package so normally a lot of times i just like to wash them first because the hair just performs totally different you know you're able to curl it better the luster is different the hair entirely is just totally different so i would always suggest if you do have time definitely wash the unit before you wear it if you don't then you know you could always wash it afterwards but i do prefer to wash them first because they just perform a lot different but for the most part, it's a very full unit. I do like the color. I think like, honestly, I have gotten so many different wigs from so many different companies and I have gotten all the different kind of versions of blonde and like colors like this. And they've always been like brassy to where I've had to, you know, use well a toner in them or like darken them. They were never perfect. Okay. Like never perfect. And I'm so shocked. Perfect. Like the color is just right. Like it's really perfect. They did like a really good job with this color. Like um, I was like, when I picked it out, I was hoping, but then I was like, girl, don't get your hopes up too high. You definitely want to check them out, especially for this color. This right here, the pump it up spray, honeys. Pump It Up is like a really, really good spray, especially if you're trying to hold your wig down. Like, okay, look, my wig is tight, okay? My wig is actually really tight, and that's all due to the Pump It Up spray. I have used this numerous times on the edges or the lace of my units, and they always stick like that. Just use your rat tail comb to press it down, and you're good. You may want to use like a little bit of gel, but definitely Pump It Up does work as a adhesive. I'm not going to say you're going to be able to wear it for two days, but it beats putting like a whole bunch of got to be gel or wig glue on your wig. If you just want it to lay for like eight to 10 hours, then I'm pretty sure you will be fine because I have more wig with just the pump it up spray. And if you really, really want to make it stick, then, um, you know, hairspray it and then blow dry it, girl, you will be set to go. So as for perfect lace wigs, okay, listen. So in my opinion, I would definitely check them out just because this hair color came out bomb as hell. Okay, bomb as, you know, the F word. And I would definitely recommend them, especially because this came out bomb as hell. I really have my oil toner ready to go, like for real. I did. So you guys, let me know what you think of this unit here. I will post all of the information below for you guys. And on that note, I love you all. Stay diva and diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone else. I do apologize for my scratchy voice. You know, I am getting over like losing my voice. So that's all the yelling that I be doing. Um, but I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. And I will see you in a soon to come video.